Nah, he's not gonna crash. I'm gonna die whenever I get this bike. <laughs> <laughs>
and we're building this one too. So they don't know that we're making this video for Riker because nobody's more deserving. There he is. Have a great. Have a good. They're good for you. I know. They cure cancer. But no grapes. Whoa, they're slippery little bastards. <laughs> they're also paint friendly. Play works here. He can't throw. Put <laughs> your wrench. Can't throw. You know bananas are good for blood pressure, heart health. Yeah, that's that's why I have them. They're also good for your skin. Mm. They're good for my beard. Very good for your beard. They are. Well, not for keeping it young looking, but in other ways they're good for it. <laughs> I only eat these bananas so I don't get cramps from walking up and down those stairs and Mike calls for me like 30 times a day. Yeah, Needs that's help. true. Plugs yeah. backs, right. holding pistons, showing them how to dyno these things. I just gotta yeah. keep up my bananas so I don't cramp up helping this dude all the time. Thank, thank God. <laughs> thank God I'm here to help. So hey, I was just telling him how we're gonna do a video on this bike for Riker, a Tanders kid, our number one fan. Uh, let me grab the dog balls out of my office so we can do a close up of them. Okay, you want to? Yeah. Dog balls. Dog balls. Feeling, makes these. They go in the thrashing pipe, the AR pipe, which actually, should we talk about the AR chamber as well? The anti-reversion chamber is a patent that Feeling has that they have teamed up with thrashing on their exhaust. So they put the anti-reversion chambers skin. right here on the exhaust. Feeling has a patent for these guys and they work with thrashing to produce these pipes with their design. And what this guy does is this guy stops the backflow of exhaust into the cylinder when you have Reverse. overlap in the cam, which causes reversion to be sucked back into the cylinder. Suck this stops back. it from being sucked back in the cylinder while your intake is opening. Sucking in. Also, fueling makes the dog balls. Uh, on the thrashing pipe, when you buy them from thrashing, you get them with a certain kind, certain size. We have a couple different variations we try and run depending on the motor setup and the exhaust setup. Pretty cool. Take a look. They're in there. That gets us the back pressure. Makes it a little bit quieter than a normal exhaust, but with these big motors, sometimes we want them a little bit quieter. So to recap, it stops the sucking. Yeah. Sometimes a good thing. Keeps your motor from sucking. AIM recently came out with the SDR for the soft tails. So I've got the cover off on this, on this bad boy so you can see. Clutch plate is really close to the uh, outside of the primary. So when you add the centrifugal SDR, obviously there isn't gonna be room. So AIM came out with a kit that includes a primary spacer to move the cover off far enough to install this. So we're gonna install that to contain all that non-sucking power. Oh, man, I wonder how uh, Mike's doing a dyno on uh, Riker's soft tail build. So, you know what, we should go check it out. Come on, kitty kitties. How's it going, man? Hey, I'm just wrapping up his dyno. Awesome, how's it doing? Really good, man. Really good. Sorry if the cats get in the dyno. They're following me around today. <laughs> they're always following you around. It's all right. They smell funny, but they're nice cats. Well, let's pull this thing out. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Got a surprise for you. <laughs> Yay. You can tell him, dude. So well, you want to go ride it? Yeah. So, Come on over. Looks like I got shot out of a cannon with that thing. Really? Hey, you you feel like, hey, there's a possibility you might feel like you're getting shot out of a cannon in a couple <laughs> minutes. <laughs> How does it look, Riker? Good. Looks really good. <laughs> you approve of it? As long as you're happy, it's all Only matters. if you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> At least is... not until you can pass it on to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> Why don't you hit the button, Riker? Start this thing up for him. Wait till the uh, red light goes out. Or just run it. <laughs> He's like, I'm not waiting that long. Sounds good, huh? Way louder than I expected. <laughs> it's 
the roads are dry today too. Watch him crash while he's doing this. Nah, he's not gonna crash. You gotta love kids. <laughs> Watch him crash. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has before. He crashed on a drag strip down in Florida, and the peg went straight. It was it wasn't folding peg. It went straight into his leg, and he just went to the hospital and said, "Just put a bandage over it. It'll heal by itself." Yep. He has a big scar now. He's like, "I should have got stitches." <laughs> Duct tape and super glue, man. So do you like go to your friends and be like, my dad's scar is bigger than your dad's scar? Mm, not really. <laughs> Shit, I think I found a new owner for that helmet. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's so much power. Yeah, it's so crazy. Torque. Huh? It's, it's unbelievable. Fitting. I think it's like I'm gonna put the 128 in my other bike now. Oh, Definitely yeah. gonna put it in there. Oh yeah. Definitely going in there. So you want to see how this all translates on paper? Yes. Let's go look it. No, that is horsepower. <laughs> That's stork. That's what made stock. That's what they built. Stock and built. I'm gonna die whenever I get this bike. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressed. Very impressed.